Welcome, welcome everybody to Chesapeake TV episode 303, completely palindromic episode. I love it. Today is October 25th, 2016. I just want to point out that 3 0 and 3 when read backwards spells E O E, which doesn't mean anything. Isn't that cool? Today we're going to play 0 plus 1 anti chess, which is a way to describe the time control. You start with no time and you get one second per move, which means you constantly have to move instantly. It's basically my hometown of time controls. So let's go start a game in that manner, uh, create game, anti-chess. I should warn you that I'm not feeling quite 100%. I'm feeling like like 65% right now in terms of my health. And you can see it's even caused my vase to be green, which is a very unusual color. So we're gonna have to just get what we get here. If I don't say much, that's, that's not because I'm dead. I'm simply not feeling perfect. So we're seeking an opponent right now and we have found one, uh-oh. I've never heard of this guy, but his, he has a scary feather. I'll say go to luck. Okay, wrong derp. Let's see what happens. Anti-chess. If you lose all of your pieces, you win the game. This is too loud for me. I need to turn down the volume. Now I lose. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. This is exciting. I could take the knight that he doesn't move. I think I'm going to win this. Um, this is uh, difficult. Let's make a rook. I'll make a rook also. I think I can win this still. Uh, I could have won much more easily before. But I can lose my last pieces here. I'm going to make a rook. Should be able to win this. I do. So he actually had a move here playing here, right? So I'm forced to capture him. Um, at which point then I take him and make a rook. Uh, he can almost, almost win, if only he had pushed the other pawn, I think, something like that. No, not quite, but almost, almost. You know, he's like two, two almosts away from winning um, because I'm, my next move is going to have to take this pawn, but then I can't, rooks can't move like that, fortunately for me, so I'm actually okay. <clears throat> if we made a rule where rooks could fly three rows up and six rows over, I would have lost that game, so I'm pretty fortunate that didn't happen. Uh, the stream is kind of laggy, and I'm going to turn down my chest sounds also um, because I have them in my ear now. I got this new new thing that allows me to hear my own voice, which is pretty nice um, all through this whiz gizmo. So, whoops, I just said you too. I'm constantly misclicking that. So we got to focus this game because last game there were like six opportunities to instantly lose. And fortunately for us, Ronda didn't take any of them, but, but it could happen. So we need to play carefully. So this is a forced capture game. Let's lose my king here. No, losing your king is a bad idea. I got mixed up and thought it was good, but it's bad. Uh-oh. Well, I can win this. Oh, I cannot win this. Oh, this is so close. Oh, this is really, really close. Can't lose any knights here. Oh, no, I can. This looks pretty good now. He is going to make my pawn take these things here at the end. But if I make a king, I should be okay. How could I not win this? Just come flying out this way. Maybe I do lose. What's going to happen? Try to take his rook. That's not working.
This looks pretty good now. Oh, he's. I think he's made a mistake bringing the pawn forward. So I think it was a draw. This is really interesting. Andy Chess has such interesting um, endings sometimes. I actually think I can't win this because I want the pawn to come near my king. Pawns are pretty immobile. They're bad, right, in an endgame like this because if my king can move here, his pawn cannot move here, right? Pawns don't move that way. So he, it's like an asymmetric situation where I'm going to get the advantage. But if I come over to the square so that I can do that, then he is going to move his knight here. I have to take it, then he can move his pawn here, do that in red, and I have to take that, and I end up taking both of those items, and then he wins with the rook. Rook beats the king. I call them items because nearly everything in, in the universe is an item. Even my liver is an item right now. That's a pretty hot item, actually. And the same thing if I try to come at it from the front. If I come over here like this, suddenly I'm touching this square. He can move his knight here. I have to take it, and then he moves his pawn here. I have to take it, and I end up taking these things. So the knight is somehow like protecting the sphere of pawn, and I'm realizing this as I run out of time. And his rook, even though it's awesome, all it can do is lose itself. Like It's like, oh, if I am cool, I will die, so I'd better stay out of the way. So actually, I think it was a draw here. I couldn't get close to the pawn. His rook couldn't do anything, his knight and pawn. And if he moves the pawn like he did... He actually starts to lose. The knight is no longer protecting the sphere, and I'm able to get close to it like this. So yeah, I, maybe everything I said was wrong, but it, it's just what occurs to me right now. Hmm. How you guys doing? Episode 303 is pretty nice. Yowie is another way to say it. If you read it backwards. Uh-oh, that was a losing move. I forgot we're playing anti-chess. See what he can do to me. Does he know the winning sequence? Uh, yes, he does. Oh, I'm out of time, and I just had him be fuddled. This is the winning move. And e4, um, b5, and then knight f6 is the way to force a win here. e4 is a losing move. Um, but it's not supposed to be a clock win. It's supposed to be some, some other kind of outcome. So queen f2, swas met. I don't think he speaks English. English? Swas met. Oh, uh, queen f2 was... Queen of two was, he probably means he should have taken queen of two. That's what he means. Yep. Yep. Big mistake there, Rondep. Big mistake. Do you guys know Rondep was actually a special guest on Chess with TV? If you don't believe me, that's okay. It's probably better if you don't. But if you go back to episode 250, you can find it on YouTube. Then uh, you will find an episode with Rondep, the one and only. It's pretty fun. Just keep moving this stuff. Huh. My rook is out. Uh, let's try this way. This is interesting. Do I get his king? I do. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, no. I forgot about that. Oh, this is dangerous. He cannot get my queen to do things. Oh, I'm lucky. Okay, so let's pull everything over here like this. There's no way this isn't a win. Let's see what happens this way. Oh boy, that wasn't the best. This is the worst, actually. Pretty clever knight maneuver there, allowing me to promote to a rook. Oh, that's the one sure way you can lose. You're like, what do I do? What do I do? How can I lose least likely? Well, also, I you can just run out of time and lose. <clears throat> so if I play this, though, I lose. If I wait, though, maybe I can win. Should have just played a waiting move, I think. No, I would lose that way. I, I should play here. Well, look at that beard. While he was waiting for me to move, he's like, my beard is growing. Six units, I think. One, two, three, four, six. Six units of beard. I was really too slow. That's, that's a manly beard, Rondep. I'm impressed. Queen g4. That's one of my favorite moves. Whoa. I guess I'll take you. Not my king. Whew. I like my king. I never want my king to be taken. Oops, that was a stupid move. Now I have to take all the things, which is bad in this variant. Yeah, I should not have played bishop takes a3. Definitely an error. 
Let's see if I can win this. Hmm. I cannot. But I can do the second best, which in this case is get second place in the tournament. It's a two-person tournament. Have you noticed that, guys? Do you know how much chess I've played with Rondette? Let me show you this. Let me, let me like, can you see that? Right down there? Yeah, you can see my mouse. Rondep has beaten me 168 times in my life, and I have only won 88 times. <sighs> that's a lot of chess. Wow. Wow, that's a lot of chess, Rondep. Interesting opening here. Should be able to win this now. Oh, what, what, what? Uh oh. Uh oh. That wasn't good. I shouldn't have released my queen like that. I'm sure he's calculating a win right now with these last five seconds he has. Aha! Um, oh, that was one of the dumber moves I could have made. In fact, it was the dumbest. So, of all the moves I could make, I guess this would be the dumbest move. But the problem is I don't want to move anything, right? If I move this pawn, he can throw away his pawn. I don't want him to do that. Well, maybe that's my best bad move. I guess I could play here. I can never advance this without having to take him here and then, oh, oh, Rondep, oh, second place again. Okay, I'm going to focus. I'm really going to focus because I love beating Rondep, but I hate losing to him, and either of those can happen here, and uh, as you can imagine, one of them is more desirous than the other. You know what that means? One of them really wants me more than the other. I like using the word desirous instead of desirable, and the first reason I like to do that is because it's wrong, and I like to annoy people with incorrect grammars. But it also just sounds so cool. Whoa. Made me crazy. Oh, nice play. Why didn't I see that? I can run out of time. C6. This makes me want to play the... Um... No! I gotta get it. You gotta, I gotta give him some beard. To wait another 50 seconds before I can run out of time. This makes you want to play the coordinates trainer. If you go under, if you go under, let me show you this. If you go under the menu in the upper left up here, you can click learn and then coordinates. Okay. And I really want to play this now just because I'm having an urge. Rematch offer accepted. I'll click that. What's happening? Help. Um, uh, we're round up. Are we, are we in a game round up? We're in a different game than this, aren't we? Let's go forward. I'll send you an exclamation mark. Okay, so I'm just going to play the coordinate trainer. Okay. Hi, Prime Shoe. Here we go. Start training. So you, what you do is you click on things until you're done. H5, F3, C5, E2. So I haven't done this in a long, long time. So I think maybe I won't score that well. But there's no penalty for clicking wrong. So in theory, you could just click all the things. But this really makes me want to try something, actually. So hold on a sec while I while I set a benchmark score here. And then I'm going to try something interesting. I know this isn't like on the schedule for the show. But I don't care. Okay, 41. So as you can see, my average scores, my history is 3, 48. Blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, I'm like, okay. 41 is like benchmark. It's like average, like a little below average. But check this out. Check this out. I have right here. A stylus. This is actually a super expensive device I'm streaming on right now. It's a Microsoft Surface Book, which means, for those of you who don't bump your microphones, it's got a stylus and a touch screen. So I wonder if I could poke on the chessboard and get a better score with my stylus. This is going to be really interesting to me. And maybe you don't even care. I have to get really close to the board. Hold on. But, <clears throat> but uh, I care. So we're going to try it again with a stylus. Here we go. Uh, and, and, 
Oh, it's ro it's rocking back and forth. Oh, this seems significantly faster. G four E eight. My hand kind of blocks. You can't see this. I got to change the camera around. My hand kind of blocks what's coming next, so I'll have to become left-handed in order to do better. B B two. I pressed that already. Uh, see if I can score better this way. Probably could if I really focus. 40! 40, 40! Wait, wait, 40! Isn't that less than 41? No, it's more. 40 is more than 41. I think I did better this way. That was uh, that was interesting and exciting. Uh, I think I could do even better if I practiced more. Let's play more of that chess that, that we were meaning to do all this time. That was interesting. Tadpole Loop would like me to know that there's a League of Legends streamer who does the same thing. He plays Osu during the downtime. That's interesting. I should play Osu also because then I could totally ruin my hands. Don't you play that with your hands? Like, you know, it's kind of like Dan's Dance Revolution, Revolution for your for your fingers. Isn't that what that is? I don't even know. I'm fighting a 1400 who's not Ronda. This is very unusual. Let's try this way. I guess I'll play like this. I don't really like that move. I uh, hear. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> that was really awful. That was like my worst move. Here we go on a capturing splee. Aha. Bet you didn't see that. Mm. Or that. You gonna make a king? This is tricky position for him. Escape. Hmm. I don't have anything better to do than to just push all the stuff. Oh ho. Now I make a rook here. And I lose it. And I make a rook here. And a rook here. This should work. This is really funny. One rook against one king is a win. But what about two rooks against three kings? I don't actually know. Um, I'm not sure how to win this. Guys, can you help me here? Oh, it does say that, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Why does it say chess? I need to win this first. I'm going to run out of time with my rooks. Seems like I should be able to win. Here we go. Does that work? He's like, what? A genius move. I can't win still. <laughs> um, what happens if I get close? I'm trying to calculate this while I move around. If I get close to his kings, I will lose. I'm almost sure of it. Wait, this could work. <laughs> move back there again. Move back there again. I need to move to a place that's attacking all three of the squares. Move your kings. Yes, yes, I did it. Okay, I have three seconds left. This is going to work. Oh, he's like, no, after 45 moves. It's not 49 now, so I'm going to win. Oh, 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 oh. oh, bam, I win. So both of the kings were guarding all three squares, which means he could only remove one of the two defenders, and the other defender would still defend. That's kind of what defenders do. Yes! I just beat a 2400, and it took me more than 2400 moves. I'm actually curious how many moves it took me. Let's go to the analysis board. Uh, it took me 88 moves. Well, that's, that's fewer than it felt like. That's good. Uh, we have time for a few more games. Uh, if you want to challenge me, that's fine, but we're going to go fix. 
fix the thing that's broken. It says I'm playing Splendor. I don't know if you can see that. You can't. Now that should not say Splendor because we're not playing Splendor. We're playing chess. I've heard of it. Actually, we're playing anti-chess, but that's not really a game. So we're going to call it chess. Let's play some more 0 plus 1. I'd like to be rated over 2200. I kind of am over 2200 strength in anti-chess. Just trust me on that. So I'm, I'm a little bit underrated right now since it says, what, 2-1 something? Yeah, that's, that's too low. Keep working on that. Comment in the chat. It says, I need to brush up on my two rooks versus three kings endgame. <laughs> Anti-chess is so weird, but the end games are really unique. You can get such a variety. Uh, I mean, when in chess are you going to get two rooks versus three kings? I mean, you'll most have like two rooks versus two kings, which is a draw, assuming that you each have one of them. Although, I'll tell you a story later. I'm playing the same guy, but now he's only a 2300, so he'll be way easier to beat. Hey, I'm ahead on time. That's fantastic. This is my move. And then this. Oh, that didn't work out so well. Missing my king is bad. Oh, oh, I didn't think about g5, which I should have. Whew. Maybe I'm okay here. <laughs> or maybe not. Okay, both both, both uh, things are doing the thing there. <clears throat> if I promote, let's just try not promoting. Now I'll make a knight. Oh, well, it's a good thing I ran out of time because the knight would have lost it. He would have played here. Then I would have had to go like this. would have been awful. Um, but if I made a queen... That wouldn't work either, because he'd play here. But what if I made a bishop? That'd be pretty bad. Right, he'd play here and here, and I have to take like that. And he could throw his rook away. There's no way I'd win that. Uh, well, what if I made a quink, a quink, a cook? Yes, a cook would have won. Do you guys know how a cook moves? This is something new you should learn right now. A cook is like a bishop, and then it always stays on the same color. It can never switch colors. A cook moves three up and, and the one over. And so a cook on this square can move here or here like this, or here, like that, or here. So now you know how a cook moves. A cook can go here, 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 or here. And they're like this, this, if this were a cook, it could go here, here, or here, or here, or even back here like this, because you know, it's three up and one over, right? Okay, so now that's what I should have promoted to, obviously. A cook is the answer. I'm not making this up, it's so true. Would I make something up? Don't answer that. Fortunately, you can't because we're stuck on opposite sides of the internet here. There's actually a game. I'm embarrassed to say the name of it, but it's called Cheskers. And it's a cross between backgammon and Parcheesi. And there's a cook in that game. And the reason it moves like that is because you can only play on one color because in Parcheesi, all of the tokens have to stay on the same color. It's a because they all move one square diagonally. Did I say Parcheesi? I meant checkers. Um, and so you actually have a few chess pieces, like a bishop and a cook, and then you have a few Parcheesi pieces, and that's why it's called checkers. I don't recommend it. Pretty bad game. Even anti-chess is better. I'm not saying something. Where's my next opponent? What should we do while we're waiting? Let's go see how many people are watching Chess with TV. Uh, not that. That's not really how you can see. Not in such a garbled screen. That's kind of funny. I'm a garbler today. Garble, garble. How many people are watching? I'm actually super curious. 46,000 people um, have, have viewed this website. 22 people watching now. That's a lot of people's time to waste. I mean, it's difficult to really internalize the weight of 22 people. It's not very many. When it comes to streamers, I'm a loser streamer who's been streaming for years and nobody watches. But bes that beside the point, 22 people. Imagine if you were 22 people. Just for a moment. Imagine that. Okay? So every time like you waste 10 minutes, you've actually wasted 22 times 10 minutes. And I'll have to let you do the math. You can maybe parallelize that so each of your people can do one of the multiplications and then you can add them together, right? It's a lot of time. So for example, 
this this chess episode is going to be 30 minutes long. And right so far it's 29, so we're actually pretty near the end, right? So that 30 minutes times 22 people is 11 hours is how much time is being wasted by this broadcast. So if we don't get a gain here, that's actually a huge loss of productivity to the planet. I feel a strong responsibility to play more anti-chess. Maybe you guys can watch me make myself larger. Making yourself larger is so much easier than making yourself smaller. All you have to do is eat more. We have no opponent. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to play with a friend. We can do that. And then I'll do all this stuff. We only have time for one more game. So let's see who's going to get it. I just got a purple heart. I'm going to put this on the screen. You ready? I have to click this button. Where is the button? This button and then this button. Window, window, display game, game capture. That's not right. <laughs> um, window capture, existing. This is called open broadcaster. There we go. Look at that right there. Can you see that? Let's make it bigger. I'd like to highlight this part. This part over here, not the not the shirt that watch. Isn't that so typical? You're like, look at this comment, and then right next to it is a huge insult. You're like, okay, don't look at that part, right? You're so large. Don't read that part. Read the purple heart. I mean, the purple heart is like a presidential badge of honor. This is a seriously good thing. How do I make that smaller again? Because I'm actually, there we go. That's more like it. Okay. So now you can see all the text that's coming through the chat. We don't have any opponents, but we're not. We refuse to end the episode with a blah. We're going to end the episode with a boom, which is much better. Hey, it's so great how I put the chat on the on the stream for you. Oh, is that too small for you? Sorry. There you go. <clears throat> okay, here comes the boom. Boom. I've always wanted to. I've always wanted to do this. I had a microphone. See what I have? This rig right here that's just floating in the air. It is so nice because, um, because I can hear myself in my headphones. So I can go boom, and it actually sounds nice. Boom, especially because these headphones are ninety dollar uh, Sennheiser HD five fifty eights, which they have pretty good range. Boom. So it actually sounds like a snare drum. Boom. Except that my kick is a little slow because I'm I want this double kick thing where you actually kick with the left foot and then the right foot, but it's not quite there. I have to buy another accessory for my kick. We have no opponent. No one else wants to play anti chess. We're into episode overtime here. Maybe I'm being too restrictive. Let's take a look. Oh, you have to be at least 1,900 in ante just to play. Oh, good. You guys hear any background sound? Is it like staticky? Is it time for another joke? Did you hear the joke about the hole? You didn't hear the joke about the hole? Never mind. It's too deep for you. <laughs> Sorry. I, I apologize. Better to apologize in advance. I tried to hide my face right after the joke, and then I pressed the wrong keyboard shortcut, and there and I was staring in the camera like a doofus. Come on, chess! This show will not end without more anti-chess. I need another game of anti-chess. How long do you have to sit here? Someone tell Ornicar to add more anti-chess players to this website. So that guy who said you're so large chesses with the heart is actually the creator of this entire website. And there's currently 13,957 people on here. None of them wants to play anti-chess with me, of course. And 3,686 players 
in games. Actually, sorry, that's not right. 3,686 games active right now. Each game having two players means there's like twice that many. I'm not going to do it in my head because it's so large of a number. I mean, it's almost as large as I am. And all of those people are here because of Ornicar, who thinks I'm so large. So this is overall a good thing, I think. <clears throat> I'm stalling. I'm, I'm really just trying to, like, like, you know, fill the time. Because there's 22 people wasting 10 minutes right now. Maybe there's an anti-chess game I can join. There's not. Look at all of these games that are not anti-chess. The green one is me. You have to look for an upside-down king. Hey, look, there's an anti-chess game. Okay, so... Did I get it? So it's 10 minutes. It's a 10-minute anti-chess game, but it is anti-chess. This is better than nothing because I can't end the show without a game of anti-chess. This guy's not at the, at the board, though. So that's going to make it even slower. Oh, here he is. Okay, so we're going to have to play the most analytical game of anti-chess ever. That's an awful first move. Throw my bishop away. So his queen can hit these squares now. Let's play my queen here. I love queen g4. It's like my favorite anti-chess move because from here you can lose your queen, which queens are awful. So I'm just so happy to lose my queen. This is good for me uh, because this move pulls the pawn in. So he pretty much has to play a5, which he doesn't. So now he's in trouble. I'm happy to take his queen, but I'd love to take his king. But if I take his king, he'll take my king. So let's just take his queen. Now, I've got knight b5. Can I force a win with knight b5? If he'll please take the bishop this way, then I can king f1. He's like, no, and he ends up like that. Other than that, though, I don't know if I can win. So let's try it. So c4, he's going this way. But at that point, I can't drag that any further. but I could block it off. This is kind of like putting a glass. Uh, like a cup, glass cup. Okay, so it's like finding a scorpion in your house. That's the important part. I, I didn't mention that part because I was trying to think about what's made of glass that you've got. And you put it over the scorpion, and then you can see the scorpion, but it can't move. That's what this position is like. This pawn is like the, the scorpion, and this bishop is like the glass. Is it making sense now? See, it can't move. It can't move because it's trapped under the glass. But if I lift the glass, then the scorpion can stab me with its tail. It's not a scorpion. By the way, don't get stabbed by scorpions. It's, it's bad for your health. <laughs> So I just have to kind of look at it and work around it, be like, okay, okay, right, and somehow do this. But the rook would end up down here, so that wouldn't work. Or I could do this, but then it, that wouldn't work either, because my king's guarding that. So I have to spend some time with this thing under here. Can you castle in anti-chess? Ornicar, can you fix that, please? <clears> oh. <throat> huh. You lip readers. You guys are fantastic. Um, so here's my plan. I move my king all the way over here, and then I can play this move. Let the scorpion out of the glass. I can't stand this anti-chess game. It's too slow. And if I lose, I lose my entire rating. You know, if you play someone low rated enough, your rating actually just goes to zero if you lose. True story. They have to be really low rated, though, like negative 100,000. But it does happen. I looked at the algorithm. And by that, I mean I'm making it up just for fun. Uh, this seems okay. This is awful. So I play here and then here, and his pawn will end up here. What will he make? If he makes a rook, he'll lose. If he makes a king, he'll lose. I need to make sure he loses in every line. Let's do it. Oh, now he's going to have to play this. So I should be able to win this way now. How do I get my rook to not defend this pawn? Maybe I push here and then here. Is that going to work? Push here. He takes this. Push here. He has to take this. Then my rook is still... Yeah, I'm going to do this way. 
have to take the knight, then you have to take the pawn, then I'm going to play the rook here. Because uh, it's the only file. Any of these files hit these various things down here. Um, but this one, this one doesn't hit anything. So now there's that force trade. So now you can take this. Now you're going to take this, and then you're going to take that, and then you're going to take that. So I just wait. I got this win. I got it. Yes. Now I can end the episode. This is fantastic. Play faster. It's over. This is great. This has also been Chess Wiz TV. Thanks for watching.